Hi, I am here. Thank you for letting me change times on you. Um, I took my husband to his appointment yesterday and everything went well. He has stitches in four places, but he's hanging in there. And then he's got his big procedure um, in two weeks. And so, and then that should be good. And then he should go into just checkup mode, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. So uh, we are going to have four videos today. I'm going to be doing some things with the summer rain design kit this morning. And then um, we are going to have another video at 1230. We're going to have Jamie Yoshida from the Bead Gallery, 1230 Pacific Time um, in Honolulu. And then at 2.30, we're going to have my friend Nile from Silver Silk, uh, the one and only person that doesn't sell Softflex that is a presenter, I think. But he uses it all of the time. He uses our craft wire and our beading wire in his Tuesday tutorials almost every single week. He's a great friend of ours, and we love using his product as well. I'm even wearing some today in honor of his presentation. So we're excited to see him uh, today as well. And then we're going to have a little after party uh, before we shoot you over to Rebecca's show. Um, and she's going to be doing some stuff online at Design and Adorn. So it's going to be a jam packed day, you guys. We're going to have a lot of fun stuff happening. It is uh, the, the mug can still be ordered, not just today. I have my hot tea in it. Not just today, but you can order it through Sunday. We're going to place our order on Monday. So uh, we are going to be stuffing it with a lot of great goodies. We're going to have a coupons. Um, Design and Adorn is doing a gift certificate, which is kind of nice. Um, we're going to have some wire, some beads, stuff from Jesse James beads, Tierra Cast. Uh, so quite a few different things. And, um, and in fact, Sarah James may even stop by this morning. She was given the link. We'll see if she makes it. She sometimes loses track of time. So <laughs> we'll see if she drops in um, and visits with us or not. But this is going to be a really fun, cute cup that you can keep to remember this week, just like we will. And um, has a cute little saying. It says, beads are the seeds of inspiration friends help grow the garden. And that's how I feel about each and every one of you when we meet and we bead together. You guys give me your beading advice as I'm working through things and I give you my beading advice. You know, we're helping grow a garden and it has just become a, a really beautiful garden of a community. So thank you for being here. I see some of you are saying you ordered your cup. Oh, Sally says it's her first time that she's able to watch live, but she'll watch all the videos later. Yeah, I wanted to mention we started a YouTube playlist and everything is getting clicked onto the playlist. And I think that might be the easiest and best way if you missed any of the videos to find them is to go onto our Softlux Company YouTube channel and look for the Customer Appreciation Week playlist. And then this weekend, you can just binge watch all of the presentations. Um, there have been some fantastic things to be learned you, using Softflex on a loom, using Softflex on a Kumihimo. Um, uh, Andrew did a wonderful asymmetrical design. Abby made a bangle bracelet with our 024. Um, I could, I mean, the list is so long and we still have more to come today. So yeah, the mug is $21.95. There is a shipping charge as well of $8.95. It will ship out in about two to three weeks, depending on how many are ordered and how long it takes me to get all of the materials from all of the presenters to put with the mugs. Um, and there's so many materials, I may not even be able to just put it in the mug which is what I thought ori originally, I might have to do an outside package <laughs> with the mug. So, and they come in a really um, a nice, nicely contained box. So it will help them to ship safely. Um, they're made by Shutterfly. Hello, Julie. All right, I'm gonna flip down. I have, um, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before with you guys live today. Can you believe that? I don't know why I put all this pressure on myself. Um, I saw Andrew Thornton 
paint his wooden pendants with vintage patina paint on um, the Great Beat Extravaganza weekend, this last, the Midsummer Market. So I looked back at that last night and then I messaged him and got the, the skinny on what to do here. And he said, you just paint it right onto it. And then if I wanna shoot it with a heat gun, I can do that to help it dry. Um, and so that's what I'm gonna do. He said, we don't need sandpaper or anything um, special, except for I grab my heat gun from outside from our workshop, you know, our garage, and um, I'm gonna flash it with that. But I was looking at these, you guys, because we have extras on the website. Look at how cute these would be as earrings. Let me put my, let me go back here so you can see. Oh. Look at how cute this would be as an earring if it's facing this direction and then you flip this one. How cute are those? And we're going to paint them today with the Vintage Patina paints and see what other colors we can make them. But don't you think those would be so big earrings are kind of in right now? Super cute. And then you just attach it with a beetle. I'm going to show you how to attach a tassel. So I think you could do the same thing for your earring if you wanted to do that but this this is a really nice design because it does have that straight side which can fit up nicely against your face for an earring um some of them you know if they're round i think it would be a little more difficult to get them to work but yeah these could make really really cute earrings i'm thinking about using it in this direction uh kristen used it this way like a cloud but I also love it this way. So you connect your wire up here and up here. And then this is just kind of like almost like a collar um, design. You could connect something down here if you wanted to. But I'm thinking about a really nice long necklace. And I'm thinking of adding a tassel to it down here. And then, um, and then having my wire connect up here at the top is what I'm thinking about doing. So there's gonna be a lot of different directions you can use it. Um, and you'll have to decide if you got the kit, what works best for you. I have two different colors of patina paint here. These vintage patina paints have been discontinued by Ranger. And so vintage is coming out with a new option. Um, but if you love these, you should probably stock up soon because they're gonna get harder and harder to find. I have them in about a zillion colors, of course. So I pulled out the marine, which I think is like a baby blue, which I thought was kind of fun with a cloud. And then I also pulled out the white gold. And so I'm gonna paint one one color and one the other color, and we'll see how they turn out. And um, they are two-sided. So if you wanted to do one color on one side and a different color on the other side, you could do that too. And of course, these are made by our friends at Allegory Gallery. This was a custom design for us, uh, for our kit. We have a few extras for sale on the website, but then that's it. They're not making them again. However, they have tons of other shapes. You can go to allegorygallery.com and check those out. Um, and there's some really, really fun ones. I used a bear one. Let me see if I have it here. Yes, I do. I used this bear on a um, project earlier this week when I was hanging out with Andrew. And they come in different metal or different wood too. So like this one's a lot darker, whereas this one's a lot lighter. So you have those options as well. Um, I really love how this bear looks. And then I this was with our customer appreciation design kit. So this bead mix may still be available. There might be a few of these bead mixes left if you wanted to make something similar. And then this is our mystical trio that came in that, in that kit. All right, so I shook these up really well. Both of these have been sitting for a while. And so I tried to get it all mixed as well as I could inside the bottle. And I'm just gonna put a little bit down here on my paper plate. You do not need a fancy um, paintbrush for this project. In fact, I just have like kind of a kid's paintbrush. 
and I'm gonna do one and then I'll do the other. So this is the white gold and I'm just gonna add it on here and I may even do a couple of coats so I can get it on there pretty good. And now I am not a painter. I am a, a relatively new collager <laughs> thanks to Canty Cooper. <laughs> um, so I've been doing a little more painting recently than I normally have. Um, but anyone can do this is basically my, um, my take on it. And Andrew made it sound really pretty easy. Ooh, that white gold is so pretty. So now I'm just going to grab my heat gun and put a little heat on it and see if that helps it to dry. And then maybe I'll do another layer so I can kind of darken it up a little bit. This is going to be a little loud because this is like a real deal heat gun. I'm going to blow all my stuff away. Ooh, I like how that dries like so pretty. I love watching Andrew too. It was definitely a bear, not an ear. <laughs> Marcia. And then if you want to, you could paint around the outside as well. So that's pretty dry already, you guys. Look at how pretty that is. And then if you wanted to, you can see I already got kind of a little bit of paint. So why don't we go ahead and do that? We'll paint around this edge so that it feels a little more finished. And maybe I'll just paint the backside too. So it's all just one color. Let's see. So again, this is my first time doing this. So I am not an expert. You're going to learn with me. Ooh, I love how it's turning out though. It's so pretty. Okay, let's try that a little bit and then we'll switch to the other side. I do love to design on the fly. I know. You better grab them before those patina paints are all gone, Sally. Because they, they're, they're gonna get more and more scarce as time goes on and become harder and harder to find. Now I'm just going to flip over to this other side. And I want to get kind of inside too. So I'm just going to get a little bit of paint inside there. So you see those little ribs on the inside? Just gonna go around and add a little paint in there as well. So it feels complete and I don't see any other surface. And you can uh, layer this patina too. So if you wanted to then add some more color, you can maybe do a gold base and then add more color on top. You can totally do that. And in fact, um, Kristen has a video. I don't know if you were using patina though, Kristen, were you? You might need to get a little more paint out here. I like the bare wood, but I'm really digging just to give you like a little bit of a comparison here. I'm really digging how this looks. It takes it like almost a little more upscale, whereas the, the bare wood feels a little more rustic, which is also nice in certain cases. I'm trying to see where I'm missing. <laughs> So where, you guys, where are you finding your patina paints? I'm assuming some of our exhibitors, maybe even Allegory Gallery, has them for sale. 
Marisol says, I have some vintage patina paints and I love them. They do last a long time. I totally agree. Penny says, no, I don't have them all yet. And Sally says, loving the white gold on that. I have a few wooden pieces from Andrew, but no patina paints. I think I'll have to jump in. Yeah, definitely do uh, jump in and um, maybe go to the Allegory Gallery website. And I think they just added them not too long ago. And you can grab those from them. And, um, and do it soon because I don't think they'll be able to reorder. So what they have is probably probably uh, about all they're gonna get. I'm being really scarce with my patina paint and only taking a little out at a time so I don't end up wasting a bunch. And I'm just kind of filling in all those nooks and crannies. And I'm really just using like a kid's paintbrush. Nothing fancy. Just what I had on hand. I have nicer paint brushes, but I thought I'll just grab um, grab some of the kids' paint brushes for this project. And I think I got most everything. Let's do the back side, and then we can kind of see where we're at. If we want to get another layer in there, or if we feel pretty good about. I've also been thinking because I am so into the collage club with Candy um, and have been trying out some of her fun collage secrets. I've been thinking about whether you could collage on some of these, um, some of these, let's see, get my thing going here, collage on some of these pendants with maybe a gel medium and then like some of that really fun vintage tissue paper. I've been thinking about what that might be like. I haven't tried it yet. I was also curious about adding glitter. If you wanted to like really make it sparkle, what the possibilities are with that. All right. That is looking pretty spectacular. I'm going to go over the side, the outside at least one more time just to make sure it's all kind of a solid color. I see a couple inside spots I missed too. Oh, is that right, Karen? Karen says you could use Mod, Mod Podge on them. Would they be sticky with the Mod Podge? How would you seal it? It's my question. Any ideas on that? I know on the pages, um, Candy often suggests wax to kind of seal it so it's not sticky. Is that what you would do on a wearable pendant too? I was like, I need to just call Candy up and pick her brain on this one. But she's on vacation, so not gonna do that this week. <laughs> I'll wait till she gets back. Here we go. I'm going to hit it with that hot glue gun or hot gun one more time. What's a good company to buy the paint from? I'm thinking Allegory Gallery. Let's see what Molly says. Abby just did a video using Renaissance wax, which looked cool. Ooh, was that on her big... Um, her big pieces, like for her earrings. Was that on Wednesday? I was wanting to check that out, but I've been so busy with Customer Appreciation Week, I didn't get a chance to take a look. Holy smokes, I am in love with this. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm curious how it's going to wear when I have some soft flex running over it. So that will be kind of the test. Um, is the soft flex going to kind of chip away at it? I don't know. We're going to find out, right? That looks great. I'm just going to do one side on this one with the marine color so we can see what it looks like. 
Um, but I'm not going to do the whole thing since we just did one whole. And then I'll use this pendant today in my design. What do you guys think? Do you think the soft blacks is going to kind of um, chip away at that patina? Or do you think it'll be secure? I'm so curious. Let's see what Becky says. Becky says you can seal it with Mod Podge or a thin layer of triple fit. Yes, that's true, Lois. Vintage does have a new line. A little bit different, not the same, but I hear they have a new line. And Molly is suggesting that Teresa go to Allegory Gallery as they have the patina paints. Oh, and Karen says that Vintage has a sealer and a glaze. Yeah, I, I um, asked Andrew if I needed anything to seal it, and he said no, um, but I don't know if he's used it the way I'm going to use it with the soft flex and if that will wear on it or not. We'll see. Suzanne's also mentioning that there's a fixative or sealer that you can use. So if we find that it does, the, the soft flex does wear on the, um, the patina paint, it sounds like there's a great sealer out there that we can also uh, check out. And thank you, Thomas, for reminding everyone. If you're enjoying this video, please do like and share it. Um, we are gonna have three more videos today at, for Softwax C Customer Appreciation Week. And um, we would love to get as many people on board uh, as we can. Okay, great. Molly says that they do have a sealer and she thinks you should seal it. Let's see what Karen says. Karen says, I use sealer on metal and it, it makes it look like enameling. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. So it's gonna give it more of a glossy uh, look, whereas this is more of kind of a matte finish. That is interesting. Well, let's see how it goes. Um, let's just attach and not worry too much about it. And because this is a test. And then if I see that it wears, I'll wear it for a, a little while. And then I'll let you guys know how it wears. If the soft flex wears down the patina paint, maybe you do a couple more layers where you're, you know, you're going to be attaching. Um, since I'm on a video, I'm going to just go with it today. But I do have more of these um, pendants to test. So We've got that option too. I wanted to see you to see another color as well if this is brand new to you. So I'm gonna get out a little bit of this marine color. So I used the gold on that, which is still pretty similar to the color of the cloud, but this will be a little bit uh, different. Oh good, Andrew, are you here? Will you drop a link? Will you drop a link um, to your vintage patina? Andrew says, what y'all doing that you need to seal it? <laughs> I'm just adding Softflex and I'm wondering if the Softflex is going to rub on the connection. And so I was talking a little bit about that and I was getting advice from all my friends here about whether that's going to be a problem or not. So I'm just going to do the top and then I'll finish doing this one after the live show and I'll probably do both sides again and the inside as well. But I just wanted to give you the option to see it in another color. Andrew says it should be fine. Okay, I believe you, Andrew. I'll test it though. <laughs> and let everyone know. Ooh, look at that. If you like more of a cloud color, this is the marine color. It's kind of a baby blue. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to put a little heat on it so it dries up. And then um, I'll do the rest and post a picture of it on Instagram. Let's see. Oh, you don't have them listed. Let's see what, oh, where'd Andrew go? We don't have them listed just yet because of shipping restrictions. Oh, so are they able to buy them from you? Who has them that they can buy them? It 
Can they message you? I've been sending everyone to you. <laughs> so you might get like a thousand messages. Where is that vintage patina? Ooh, that looks so pretty. Kristen, were you here when I held them up as earrings? I feel like you would wear these earrings like every day. Here, let me switch it around. Look at how cute these would be as earrings. You can wear them this direction. I think these would be so cute if you have two. So if you got one in your kit and you want another one, we have a couple more for sale on the website. And then you can make really cute earrings. It is kind of close to a Tiffany blue. Yeah, I agree. It's really pretty. So this is how they turned out. I'm going to do the, oh, oh and wow. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do the rest later on this one. And hopefully I don't ruin the one that I'm working with. <laughs> okay, let me get my paper towel and we're going to start doing some beading. And of course, Andrew has lots of other options in those, um, in those fun wood pendants and lots of other shapes. So go check out their website for those and also different uh, wood types. So you don't have to paint it. You can use it just plain like I did on the bear necklace. <clears throat> you can keep that wood if you want to. It's just a little more rustic looking. Whereas when you paint it, you can kind of make it your own. And um, that can be a lot of fun as well. And Andrew's shown lots of other ways that you can uh, change up these pendants in his Great Beat Extravaganza demonstration. So if you go to the Great Beat Extravaganza and you search for Allegory Gallery, you'll probably find their videos um, from multiple different uh, Allegory Gallery presentations where they have shown what you can do with these cool pendants. Okay. Let's see what we got. Andrew says the glazes are great but the glossy is a little soft as opposed to hard glaze. If you're really worried, an epoxy resin would be super. Great information. I also see Molly is saying that she has some great wooden pendants from Allegory Gallery that she really wants to paint. And Kim is saying if you orient them to lay sideways on the head, you can do two different finishes one on each side and then attach pieces to ear wires. So it's a two for one. Great gr observation, Kim. Yeah, these are double sided. So you don't have to paint the same color on both sides. You can do two and even this um, necklace that I might make today, if I had painted the other side a different color, I could just flip sides. Um, when I want to wear it. And that's true if you orient it anyway, I think. So Kristen used it this way. I think you can also use it this way, connecting your wires. And then I'm going to use it this way today. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Andrew's suggesting a paint-a-thon. Good idea. Um, for the, the customer that has a lot of pendants and needs to paint them. Okay, so what are we making today? That's the question. I have some of these beautiful tassels. There's two tassel kits on the website from uh, Great Beat Extravaganza's summer collection. Um, so I was going to maybe attach one of these tassels um, this particular tassel matches the color of wire that came in the kit like perfectly. Let me show that to you. I'm going to take a drink of my tea mm. in my customer appreciation mug. And um, let me show you how well 
Look at how close those are. Isn't that nice? So I was thinking if I have the wire up here, having this tassel down here could be really fun. And I was kind of starting to think about how I might attach it. Um, I was thinking about a piece of Softflex, of course, and then maybe making a connector to attach my tassel. And this is going to be a nice long necklace. Um, so it's okay if the, the bottom of it's quite long, kind of like the one I'm wearing. I'm wearing a necklace from um, Miele's Customer Appreciation Week. Look at how long this bottom is. I love this necklace. It, it's super long. It's very comfortable, though, and, um, and it's really, really pretty. And then it's, of course, got a long, long, long length of silver silk up the back. So I'm going to make something long like that. All right, so I've got my Softlux beading wire that came in the kit. This is the blue topaz color that we were able to get a little bit more of. And I'm going to grab a two by two millimeter crimp tube. Thanks for being here, Teresa. We'll see you later. Let's see, Karen says that she has a lot of green girls and wood that need, be, need to be painted. It sounds like we need to have a big painting party. Andrew, it sounds like you need to host a painting Zoom party and everyone get together and paint all of their pendants and their Green Girl Studios pieces. Okay, so I've got my two by two millimeter Softlex crimp tube. These came in the kit. Softlex crimp tubes are very thick, very strong and solid tubes. It's really important to have a good quality crimp tube because it holds everything together. I'm gonna string through my tassel and back into my crimp tube. And then I'm gonna straighten out the wire to the best of my ability, but make sure I have a lot of room that this can kind of wiggle around. I'm gonna come in with my magical crimping pliers and it is ravioli time, friends. We are going to crimp our first little ravioli in our crimp tube, turn it on its side so that those little four corners are now gonna get compressed in. And then I'm just gonna go around and around, compressing my tube into a little round ball. And when I'm all done, I can take my little wire there, a little extra wire, and I just slide my cutter in and trim that off. And then give myself a healthy amount of wire to create my connection. And I wonder if I have this little mix, the um, Summer Rain Bead Mix came with so many uh, metal components and cute little bead caps and things. Like I love these little, these little bead caps. String it onto, ah. Come back here. So one thing I wanted to mention to you guys is I am thinking about changing my regular weekly time when school starts. Uh, my kids are possibly going to go in person. We're still figuring that out. And I would like to change it so that I'm doing my video when they are at school because um, it's just a little bit quieter around here and just a little bit easier. So I may be changing to 1130 Pacific time um, starting in two or three weeks. I'm going to wait and see what happens at school. Um, we're still figuring it out. And then I will let you know. But I just wanted to give you a heads up. I may be changing from my normal 3 p.m. Pacific time all the way down to 1130. Um, but that's just what makes sense for me this year. We'll see, we'll see what happens, but I will let you know and we'll try to post it soon enough that you can kind of plan ahead. All right, there we go. We have got our little spot going here. 
And, um, and I may even be able to hop on a little bit more if they are physically going to school. Um, it won't be quite so hard. And I'm just crimping again, just the same kind of crimping method. And I basically just made a connector using Softflex. So I connected down here and then I connected up here. And this was where I was like, is this going to harm the patina paint? The Softflex kind of rubs. But it looks like it's holding up pretty well. All right, now I'm going to come in and trim. I'm doing a mixture of gold and silver. I'm trying to do that a little bit more, be a little bit more free about mixing my metals. Um, I think it turns out really nice and I've been liking it. So I, if you're wondering why there's gold and there's silver, that's why. Doing a little bit of both because the mix has a lot of silver in it. And, um, but the tassel has some gold. And then I painted this like a really nice white gold. So it's going to be a mixture of metals. Oh, Marianne, I'm sorry to hear that. I know some some people, the later time is better. And some people, it's probably going to be worse. Um, uh, is it hail or Haley? Uh, do you need a special tube? You do need a really good quality crimp tube to use the magical crimpers. They do use a lot of force. And if you have a wimpy crimp, it will be difficult for it to work well. So uh, the Softflex crimp tubes are great. Um, let's see, Karen is saying, oh, is Candy moving her time too? Oh, she's moving to 1030 Eastern though. So that's, that's like 730 Pacific time. That's a whole other that's a whole other time. I'm still getting up at, out of bed at that time. <laughs> um, I'm thinking 1130 Pacific is what I'm thinking um, will work best for my family. But we're going to see. See what happens. All right. Hail, like Gail with an H. Okay, Hail, I've got it. I won't have to ask you again. Awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Um, oh, you didn't mean to yell your name. Let's see. I, for those that are watching on YouTube, I'm talking with my friend Hale here about how she pronounces her name. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know you weren't yelling. All right. So this is what we've got so far. We've got this beautiful kind of teardrop shape and then this lovely pendant. Now we have to decide what we're going to do up the top. Um, so I'm definitely going to do like a nice long piece of soft wax in this blue topaz that came with the kit. Um, let me think about which beads. If you guys um, wanted some of these little leaves, make sure you're ordering them on the website. We just got them in. They were in the Lakeside Design Kit. So we have a limited supply of these beautiful satin leaves in the shop right now if you want to grab more and those tassel kits are in there too there's this is two tassel kits that i've been pulling from so uh there's two options and um i don't know which one this big one came from maybe thomas can look and tell us uh which tassel kit um cheryl is asking will you be recording so we can watch later yes we will definitely um, be recording. So that is, that's, we'll definitely be recording. You can still watch it on replay. And yes, okay, we got all the questions. All right, let's start playing around. What are we gonna do? Do we wanna do like a little bit of weaving? Okay, let's click that off. Do a little bit of weaving. Oh, I'm trying to make sure you guys still connecting with my demo camera. Everybody seeing me okay? Thomas, can you tell me if you're seeing me okay? Because it's not showing up on my screen here. All right, it's just being weird. I'm gonna go for it then. And look at these. These um are in the mix, and uh, it's kind of like a bead window. So um, we could stick like a bead inside there. 
which would be kind of fun. Let's think about those maybe. It'd be great if I could get a little bit of gold. Oh good, then my video came back up. But everything in here is silver, so we're just gonna go with it. And I've got these lovely gray beads. I just think the world of these. I can't wait. We're going to get more of these in in a few different colors. And I'm really excited about it because they're really pretty. I use them in my other design too. I could see these being pretty lovely to add in there. I don't think I'm going to do a ton of beads. Maybe we'll do sections of beads instead of one lump sum and um, and do it that way. Let me get a nice long piece of wire so that this falls at the right place. And I will measure my wire so you know how long, how long it is. Oh, good. Kim said she used some of those um, beads. Some of those frames yeah we've had um a few of the presenters their phones have just been shutting off and so i was a little worried when my screen blinked that maybe i lost you i'm using about 33 inches of wire okay so i'm gonna grab a crimp Again, using that two by two millimeter Softflex crimp tube. So many connection issues this week. Yeah, but everybody's been so good and handled it so well. <sighs> huh, well, I don't know why you lost me. It is just weird. Okay, hopefully everything's good now. It just cut out for a second. Okay, well, get prepared for my hand camera to go down. And if it does, <laughs> my computer should still keep going and we'll just pull it back up again. So just hang in there. I'm sure it'll be okay. All right, I've got my crimp. I'm gonna string through the top of my, and it's so nice. It has so many openings, so many places that you can, um, you can connect. And then I will string into my crimp tube. And, um, and then I'm going to leave this fairly loose. That'll help with it rubbing on that um, patina. And it'll also just give flexibility in the design. And then I'm going to straighten out my wires inside of my crimp tube and I'm going to come in and go ahead and crimp with the magical crimpers. Some more ravioli time. Except for the non-alcoholic kind. <laughs> I want to encourage any of you to be taking a drink. Drink your hot tea or your hot coffee. <laughs> So many design of possibilities. I know because you can turn it in so many different angles. Kristen uh, helped design this with Andrew, and I think they both just did such a fantastic job. It was her, initially her idea, but then he took it, took it the extra mile, um, of course. So now I'm going to add my beads. And I had just picked out some basic beads on this you're going to string the frame string the bead and then come back in and string the bead into the frame Oop, got a little kink in my wire there but that should be okay and go. If you want to let those beads free float, you totally can. Just let them kind of free float and then crimp up here for your next section of beads. Um, I'll leave that up to you. I think I might free float them this time and see what happens. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to come in with another crimp, and this is going to be where a new set of beads are going to sit. So I can go close and leave just a little bit of wire here, or I can go a little further away. And I think I'll go like maybe right here. I'm going to get out a little tiny piece of wire and put that through the crimp. Since I'm just crimping one wire, it can be hard for that crimp to hold on to the nylon coating. And so if you put that extra little piece in there, it makes it a little easier for the crimp to kind of gnaw down. Always making sure, taking the time to make sure that that crimp is in the center of your crimping plier. Nice and centered and then compress to get that little four corner ravioli. Or taco if you're using the other crimping pliers. The other crimping pliers are great too. They make more of a tubular shape, whereas these make a round bead. Either one would work well for this design. And then you just come in on both sides and trim that extra wire and nobody even knows that it's under there. We're gonna save this for the other side. We're gonna choose a different bead here. What about, I kinda like these silvers. Those are pretty. Um, but I want a little bit of blue. Like. Hmm, I have these too. Maybe I'll just leave it silver. Let's try it and see. I'll do one of these little guys. Ooh, I wonder about these kind of big um, jump ring pieces are kind of fun. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, I like that. It's looking very elegant, very pretty. So if you're doing a long necklace like this, you may want to grab the identical bead for the other side, just so you don't end up accidentally using it. <laughs> Keep those beads organized. And then it'll be easier too when you come around and you're ready to put together the other side, you'll have everything kind of in order so that it's real fun and easy to, um, to grab it. Oh, hey, Sarah James, are you able to jump on today? I think uh, Kristen sent you a, uh, a link. If you are, you're welcome to jump on anytime. We would love to chat with you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe do one more section and then I'll just let the wire run up the back end from there. So I'm going to grab a crimp tube. Jump on anytime. Yeah. All right. Yeah, whenever you want. I'm, I'm here for a little bit. And we'll have a quick, quick powwow. Okay, so I'm going to crimp. Now, if you want to measure this, you totally can. I am going to eyeball it for distance. You could do it the same distance. You could do a smaller amount or a larger amount, whatever works for you. You are going to need that second wire. And I'm just going to take one of my little pieces that I just cut off the end is plenty of wire to get my extra crimp on there. I'm going to head in and compress and then we'll go And you want to kind of go around and around, just tightening down. You're tightening down the edge of the crimp tube into the nylon coating, making sure it's all nice and snug. Oh, 
we need safety goggles today. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break from this design and we are gonna chat with my sweet friend, Sarah James. So just give me a second while I, let's see. We're gonna go here and then we're gonna go here and then we're gonna go here. Hi! <laughs> cool. Hey, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, how are you? I am doing just fine. It's been a little bit of a hectic morning. I had to meet triple A and then I saw that you were live and it's like, oh man, let's go and chat with Softlex right now. So excuse my tardy. And then That's okay. welcome to your studio. Why are you meeting with triple A? Uh, my friend's car broke down on the way to our house the other day. And luckily there's, we're right out here at this trailhead. So he was able to get it parked. Um, and I did him the favor of calling my AAA so he could not have to pay, you know, an arm and a leg for a tow. Well, that was kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Are you in Colorado? I am. Yeah. Let me see if I turn my thing, if it all. Okay. Yeah. That's a little bit better. There we go. All right. Nice. Yeah. Well, I am if in you... Colorado. It's beautiful today. If you don't know Sarah James, you've been living under a rock. Um, she is the the creative force over at Jesse James Beads. And uh, Jesse James Beads helps us with our kits every month That's by right. making a custom bead mix and then often a bead strand uh, that matches the kit as well. Mm -hmm. And um, they did a great job in our butterfly garden design kit. If you've got one of those, we have some extra of those bead mixes left. Um, but they're, they make these mixes and only we sell them and they're, they're, um, our idea that we send to them, but then they make all the magic happen on their end to, to meet the needs of the kit. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, Sarah. And it's um, when you asked us to design a bead mix for you, I think it must be like two or even a little bit more years than that ago. Um, we had, we just, we love designing beads that tell a story. So when Softlex says to us, okay, we're going to be doing the Be Kind kit and the colors mm -hmm. are yellow and antique gold and some teal. And we're like, oh, oh, okay, yes, we can do this. <laughs> and then we get to just like let our design creative forces take the lead off of, um, off of Softlex inspiration. And that's what really helps to just like pull this whole kit together and then being able to see what all of our creative community what the softlex creative community does with the jesse james beads and the softlex and all the other fun parts that softlex puts in these kits man oh man that is like just so enriching and fulfilling for us as a design house it's a lot of fun and you guys have really been helping make our kits super special so i'm really thankful for that Thanks for your help. And you know what else? Jesse James Beads is putting a little packet together, a sample packet to go in the uh, custom, customer appreciation mugs. Ooh, so yes, look forward to that. If you pre-order one of the mugs, you will get a special treat from Jesse James Beads as well as many of the other presenters um, that have been with us this week. Cool. So you know what, what else it must is be going on with you guys, Sarah? I was just going to say, it must be Mug Week because, well, Jesse James is in the, in the middle of our annual Prime, JJB Prime Week event. This is our answer to Amazon Prime Day. Um, however, we usually do it the same day that the same day that Amazon does their sale event. But we, um, you know, are always, we tend to march to the beat of our own drummer. And um, rather than going with Amazon's dates for a summertime sale, we're doing our annual sales event, our annual summer sales event this week. So I thought it was kind of cute, actually, cool. that Softlex is doing Customer Appreciation Week because JJB Prime Week is very much also a Customer Appreciation Week where we've been just having really big sales happening all week long each of the sales only lasting a few hours each so right now i think that there's a free seed bead gift and then later at seven o'clock eastern time 4 p.m pacific we switch to another sale and then tomorrow is our final day so that's what's happening right now at jesse james 
Wow, that sounds exciting and fun. Um, and they can find that at jessiejamesbeads.com, right? Yes, yes. You can find out the current sale at jessiejamesbeads.com. We've got one, we've got seed beads on sale right now, or we've got a seed bead gift rather, Toho seed bead gift, happening until 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And then we switch over to another sale until tomorrow morning. And then I'll just give this little tidbit teaser here since you were showing me this beautiful mug that you guys have it must be mug week or mug day in the you know creative universe because jesse james beads is pre-selling mugs starting tomorrow also no really yes Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i'm ex i'm really excited about that i like i love a good mug i don't know about you i know yeah, well, I made them because I wanted to thank all the presenters that are helping this week by doing a big project. And so I put everybody on it. And then it was so cute. I was like, how do we not sell these to people that want one just to like remember what a fun week we had learning from all these great presentations. So and then I was like, but if I sell them, then I have to fill them up with something, like, because <laughs> that makes it even more fun. And so that's where it came from for us. May your Softlex <laughs> Customer Appreciation Week mug be always half full. Yes, <laughs> at least, if not completely full. Yeah, fill it to the brim. <laughs> may your cup be, may your cup run it over. I retract right? my <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get back and finish this design, awesome. but I'm so glad you could pop in. And we're just so appreciative of all the work you do to help us with our kits. And um, you also help us with our Pantone launches in the fall and the spring. And you guys just do such a bang up job. So thank you for thank that. You. Thank you. And that I resonate and mirror that sentiment exactly back to you, Sarah, and the entire team at Softlex. We love being involved with the monthly kits. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to create something custom and exclusive to Softlex. And and because of that, I just sent you or the I'm sending you the purchase order later today. We will be having a spool of Softlex wire in our September magical mystery bead box, which is our monthly. Oh, that's what that's box. for. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, be, I gotta I have to up the quantity for it, but it's gonna be great. And um, you know, it's really awesome this industry being able to have such good friends all across the country, all in different avenues of this creative industry and it's like we lift each other up you know we yes. straighten each other's crowns we lift each other up and that's what makes this online creative community and industry so firepower so amazing yeah for sure yep we all want to see each other do well that's really really important all right well i'll let you get back to your friend in triple a and in your beautiful <laughs> colorado trailhead <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll get back to this jewelry design. Thank you so cool. much, Sarah. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. I'll see you later. Bye. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? I feel like uh, Mr. Rogers, where your friends just kind of drop in and you're like, oh, here is um, here's Billy from down the street. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to grab a cup of tea with us and hang out. All right. So back to this design um, that I was working on. We just to kind of recap for anyone that's joined us since uh, we got started. We painted our beautiful cloud that came in the summer rain design kit. Then we did a softlex connector with a crimp on either side of the bead to connect in this beautiful tassel, which we also got from uh, Jesse James Beads, our two tassel mixes that you can find on the website right now are um, both from, from our friends at Jesse James Beads. Then we came up here and we started one side of the necklace and I'm just crimping down here to connect and leaving it free floating at the top on both of these sections. I'm gonna do one more section of beads at the top and then I'm gonna crimp on top here so that that doesn't float around to the other side of the necklace because that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be good. Sarah, it's always fun to talk to you. You have a great day and a great weekend um, and 
I can't wait for everyone to check out your Prime Day special on your website. Okay, so what beads are we adding up here? I'm going to kind of rifle through all of my beads still left over from that um, huge summer rain bead mix. I mean, there's some really nice stuff in here. There's a really nice big oval, these huge metal beads. These would be great on a lariat um, that's like, you know, two ends and you need some weight so that it hangs properly. These would be great beads for lariat ends. Um, what do we want to do up here? We've got these kind of cute little cube crystals. And we've got some more of these big rings if we wanted one of those. I kind of like the idea of bringing maybe this color back in up here. Maybe I would do it with this one so that it matches just a little bit more closely. Um, I also have some more bead caps. Let's see how many more we have of those. These all match, right? Those all match each other. So we could do just like a bead cap, a round bead, and then another bead cap. And pull that down. That's looking pretty good. I'm liking that. So I'm going to pull that over here because, again, I want to make sure I don't end up using. I used these little silver guys on either end of this one. So maybe I'll go back up and I'll add those up here, too, just so that it feels a little more complete. So I'm going to do one of those little fire polish, a bead cap, and then another. We will have live shows all day today, 12.30, 2.30, and 4.30. Check our schedule in our Facebook group for more information. But we're going to have lots of great live videos happening today, you guys. Oh, look, and... Thomas just posted that schedule. So on this top one, I am going to go ahead and crimp it down so that these beads don't slide around to the other side of the necklace. And that'll kind of keep everything in place. So even though these will slide up and around, gravity will mostly just pull them down and uh, they can't leave. So I'm not as worried about them. Going to string my little dummy wire inside of my crimp tube. Today is my husband's birthday. So, and most of you know, he's been struggling a little bit with some health stuff. So this morning I ordered Outback <laughs> carry out because I knew I was going to have four videos today. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to order. He loves a steak dinner. I'm going to order him a steak dinner and it's going to be all ready to go when I am done with our after party. I can just pop over to Outback and dinner is going to be done. Isn't that awesome? Thank you for the happy birthday. Happy birthday to this sweetest husband around. You would be hard pressed to find a sweeter husband. Um, just loves us, loves his family. Doesn't want to do anything but spend time with us most of the time. Um, loves our kids like, you know, he's amazing. He really is amazing. So I'm very, very fortunate. So big happy birthday to him. Yeah, his visit was po positive. He has stitches in four places where they removed uh, moles to check him. So he does have some stitches, some in some uncomfortable places like on his calf. But he's he's fine. He's doing good. 
We'll get all those nice happy birthday messages. And Joyce, hey Joyce, I hope we see you at the after party tonight. Um, happy birthday, perfect birthday dinner. Yeah, I'm just going to pop down to Pleasant Hill and I'm going to grab our dinner. Let's see. So now the tricky part is I need to crimp this about, let me go down here, about that same distance. So I think I'm going to start about here. Yeah, he's doing well. Thank you for all those kind thoughts. We are very fortunate we found it when we did, and he's okay. So far, so good. Okay, so we're going to take a little piece of wire and string it into that crimp tube. So we're doubled up. And grab our magical crimpers. Oh, good. I'm glad. It's going to be kind of a short uh, after party, but just kind of a nice way for us to all kind of cap off the week and get to spend just a little time, time together. All nice and crimped. Always check your crimp tubes. This one, for some reason, isn't wanting to stay put. If that happens, it's probably because you didn't get your ravioli really square. So I'm going to pull it and I'm going to do, do a different one. It is ravioli time. That ravioli was not participating, though. Okay, we're gonna get a solid ravioli this time. Sometimes the crimps come in just a little bit tinier than other times, and so it's just a little more of a job to get them compressed in on the edges, but we'll make it work. There we go. It's amazing how just the slightest difference in the length of the crimp can create such a trickiness to it. Okay, so now we're just matching up our beads on the other side. I'm really excited to see a Jamie Yoshida's bracelet today. I have been, I might still buy her kit if she has any left. I think it's just so pretty. She has this really nice mixture of seashells and um, soft flex, of course. And then um, she ties it off, I think, with some leather. It's really, really pretty, you guys. So you can check her out at 1230. And then, and she'll be with Kristen today. And then I'm going to be with Nile my beating buddy at uh, 2.30. And his design's awesome too. He sold out of his kits like right away, but he didn't make a ton of kits. So that's part of why he sold out so quickly. It's ravioli time, friends. Whoa, look at that ravioli. Whoa, okay. Um, the videos will be on the Softlex Company Facebook page and our YouTube channel, and then we'll also post them into the Softlex Facebook group and post them into our announcement. So you can find them in a number of places. Lydia says, that's really funny. Lydia says she gets tired watching Jamie. She's so energetic. You better get some coffee, Lydia. Maybe she'll be less energetic because it's only like 9.30 her time when she goes on. <laughs> Maybe she'll be a little tired. <laughs> I love Jamie's energy. I love, um, she has so much good information to share and she shares it so freely. So I always really love watching her. 
I will sometimes even late at night, I will watch her because um, she's in Hawaii. So her show is a little later. So sometimes I'll be like, oh, Jamie's on. I'm going to watch her show today. Okay. Now we're going to bring this over and we're going to find about where this goes. You can totally measure. If you love to measure, measure it. I, um, I'm not going to measure. I'm just going to eye it out. But I encourage you, if you like measuring, do as you do. I will post a picture of this pretty, this necklace is going to be hard to photograph. The longer necklaces are always the trickiest to photograph, but I will try to post a picture, a good picture of it on our Instagram. I may also do an Instagram reel today since I have everything set up. I have a pair of earrings I've been wanting to make. I may do that may do that today. Okay, next set of beads. Got my little fire polish. My bead frame. And this time I'm going to go towards the end just in case it does kink the wire a little bit when I pull it in. I want it to be at the end of the wire where I'm cutting it off. And then I won't have to worry about that little kink being in there. And there we go. And this one I'm just going to be crimping to my cloud down here. So I'm going to get kind of a similar distance and get my crimp. going to go through here and then I'm going to go ahead and connect and then I can kind of play around with where that crimp falls on the wire. Let's see. So we want these crimps to match. They need to go up just a little bit. Those crimps to match a little better. That looks pretty good, right? All right. The nice thing about not crimping next to every um, bead too is you get that freedom of getting to crimp without having a bead pushed up against your crimp tube. And it is a lot easier. I love how this wire matches this tassel like so well. So if you need a good tassel, look for those tassel kits on the website. If you're playing around with this kit and you want a tassel, they go really well together. And there we go. How do I get this all on the screen? <laughs> it's a long one. There we go. We've got a really fun long necklace, no clasp because it'll go right over my uh, head. And uh, our beautiful painted cloud really stands out, um, but looks so different when you orient it this way, you know, rather than, let's see, Kristen oriented it this way. And then, like I said, you could also flip it this way and that could be a really fun way to use it as well we do have more of these clouds in the shop if you want to grab one I have been kind of messing around with it and I haven't noticed that the patina paint has been bothered by the soft flex but I will wear it or hang it maybe wear it a couple times and just see how that patina paint holds up to the soft flex rubbing on it as it moves but so far it looks good. Andrew said it would be fine. 
So, and he's kind of a painting expert more so than I am. Um, so maybe it would be fine and it's no big deal. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you know what I find out though. So I can't wait to see what you guys are going to do with this, uh, with these pieces. I think there's going to be a lot of really great projects being posted into our VIB group. If you do have one of these kits, the summer rain design kit, uh, one of our mystery kits or the butterfly garden design kit, don't forget to post your designs into the group. Um, both kits have been revealed. So now it's your turn to post pictures of your designs into the VIB group. Um, and you're going to do that by the, um, the last Monday of next month. What is the date for that, Thomas? If you could post the date for uh, them to get their pictures in to enter the contest. Um, every design you post is an entry to win our next available kit. We will choose a winner at random. Um, we, we love everything you guys make, so we don't do a contest um, of, you know, a contest of what people are, <laughs> who's made the best design, because that's so subjective. What color is this wire? This is the blue topaz color. This is a discontinued color of wire. Um, we thought we were completely out of it, but our manufacturing warehouse had a little bit more on their shelf. And there was a little confusion over the, the coating. And so we realized that it wasn't green turquoise that they had. It was this blue topaz, which used to be called the Softlex turquoise. And so um, we were able to bring more in and refill the trios that contain it. it. It's in this trio here. It's also in Mermaid Lagoon. And it may be in a few other trios as well. This is the Tranquility Trio, if you want to nab one of those. Um, so we have some, we also have it on outlet. So our outlet wire is usually almost perfect, but uh, may have a slight variation. Maybe the color is a little bit darker or a little bit lighter. Um, maybe it's a little too thin or a little too thick, uh, but usually it's all very usable wire and we have this color on outlet too. So you can grab it there as well at a discounted uh, price. And this is the color that came in the Summer Rain uh, design kit. So if you have that kit, then that's the color that you are using this month. And I can't wait to see uh, what you guys make with your mystery design kit. Now you can get the purple petal design kit for next month. They are selling very fast. Purple is always really popular. And we've been so busy with Customer Appreciation Week. We've had a lot sell. Um, you can also get this beautiful bead strand for free if your order is over $55 at softlexcompany.com. This beautiful bead strand has a lot of great pieces. It's got a lot of crystal, a lot of sparkle. And this was custom made for us by our friends over at Jesse James Beads. And they tried to do a nice mixture. Ooh, I love that mustard yellow that they put in there. They usually try to do a really good job of making sure you have at least two of everything so that you can be symmetrical if you want to be. And I think they've done that here as well. And this kind of gives you an idea of what you're going to find in the kit, um, the big kit, because it matches it. So you can get that bead strand. You can also just buy this bead strand if you want just the strand for $10.49. Um, or like I said, you can pick it up for free on orders over $55. We also do free shipping on all U.S. orders over $49. And we ship worldwide. So if you live out of country, you can get a shipping quote right on our website. Um, but you do have to pay your own taxes and duties and um value added tax if you're in the EU or UK. All right, so that's the purple petal design kit and that's the one we'll reveal on the last Wednesday of next month. Don't forget to grab your vintage patina paints. We don't have these for sale, but you can get them from lots of our friends who've presented this week. And I'll even ask that at the after party to see if anyone's selling them online. Um, but you want to grab these while supplies last because they are discontinued. 
Although uh, Vintage is coming out with a new, um, with a new, um, okay, here I am. Let's see if we have any more questions. You can pre-order your mugs. We're going to stuff them with a bunch of really cool stuff. Some stuff from Jesse James Beads, Tierra Cast, a coupon, a gift certificate, wire, beads from us. So lots of good stuff is going to be in there. And um, they're super cute. And maybe it'll remind you of this, um, this really lovely week that we got to have together. Uh, Lois is saying Amazon still sells the patina paints. Yes. Amazon does. But if you can support one of the presenters, I would really appreciate that because small businesses always, um, always need that support and help. All right. So that's it for me today. Let's uh, grab that schedule. It is Friday. Gosh, can you believe it? 1230, the Beat Gallery, Jamie Yoshida, 230, Silver Silk with Nile. And then we're going to have a quick after party at 430. And at 5, you can run over to Design and Adorn. And Rebecca is going to have a show going um, for her Friday night. So that'll be a lot of fun um, to check out. If you want to see what Jamie is making, here's the design I was talking about. Look at how fun this is going to be, you guys. It's so pretty. She uses a really nice tiara cast button. I think you can still get this kit in two different colors if you go to her uh, website, um, thebeadgallery.com, I think. Um, and you can also learn more at 1230 when she's on here with us. And then look at Neelay's design, too. He's got some really great stuff. And I think he put together um, some items that he used in this kit that you can buy separately if you missed out on the kit. So we will post links to that as well during his live show at 2.30. And then, of course, we will see you at the after party um, at 4.30. And then I'm going to rush out and get Joshua's steak dinner for him. <laughs> Uh, I love both of those designs too, Joyce. I think that's, and I loved your design. The beaded bead was so pretty. I'm sure Joyce still has some kits left too at Just Beat It. Look for Just Beat It Concord on um, Etsy and, uh, and look for their beaded beads or their, um, what is that called? A sun catcher? What do you call that? Um, if you want to post a link here, you can do that too, Joyce. Um, but yeah, so she probably has some kits left. We have a customer uh, appreciation week page that has links to all of the kits that have been used this week. So not only can you replay any of the videos using the YouTube playlist this weekend, but you can also probably still pick up kits from a lot of these uh, customer appreciation presentations by going to that customer appreciation week page. It's in our school of design, I believe, at softluxcompany.com. And, um, and yeah, so Thomas will probably post a link here in just a second. I probably just jumped in with it. So <laughs> we'll post a link and you can go there and still order many of the kits. Um, they, a lot of them have sold out and then they've remade more. So even like Kelly's Bead Boutique, they, they remade twice and now she had two more she was going to remake from her demonstration pieces. So be on the eye for that if you wanted one of her kits. Um, Joyce says she's almost out, but they're updating kits this evening and then she'll link when she does that. So come when you come to the after party, um, we'll put we'll post a link then. Okay, Joyce. Does that sound good? All right. And there is the customer appreciation page if you want to check out the many different kits that you can pick up from all the different presenters. Thank you for being here with me today. Thank you for understanding um, having to change from yesterday afternoon till this morning. I so appreciate you guys um, being on board and I hope you enjoy all of the fantastic videos that we have coming up for you today. And you've had a great week learning with these wonderful uh, presenters. And oh, good. Carolyn says she's going to watch all the rest of the lives. Have a great weekend. And don't forget, you can buy 
all, you can find all of the videos from Customer Appreciation Week if you missed any of them on a playlist on our YouTube uh, channel. Thanks to everybody. And I will see you in just a little bit with Neele at 2.30. I get to be the, the hostess with the mostest. So I will